I'm gonna show you my favorite trick to fill in space on a budget. Every now and then, people forget about the fact that you can actually decorate with the books. They're not just for reading. Um, I went to our local thrift store and I got these hardback books, which are a nice size. I got them for a dollar. Um, so there's $3. I got these for $2 and you can tell like these are really pretty um, by themselves. So I'm probably not gonna do anything with those except use them to stack. Um, and then I got some paperbacks because I'm gonna show you a cool thing that you can do with paperbacks uh, too. And paperbacks, tend to be really inexpensive. They can be a quarter or 50 cents at some of these thrift stores. So I'm gonna show you what you can do with those. Um, obviously hardbacks are the easiest to work with. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to use them. We'll start out with these. So if you run across some really pretty books, these were, like I said, $2 at my local thrift store. If you run across some really pretty books, consider using them as a riser, you know, to put your little bunny on or to put your candlestick on. For instance, if you had two candlesticks that were exactly the same, you could put one on, on a set of books and then the other one right beside it and you would get that sort of um, asymmetrical but balanced look. Uh, that's the obvious way to use them, is to use them sort of as risers. And you'd be amazed at how much space they take up and how different that can, that, what a different look that can give you. Now, if you just don't like the color of the books or the graphics that are on your books, before you do anything else, try using them on your bookcase or your shelving unit with the spine of the book facing the wall or facing the back of the bookcase first. Uh, chances are the paper with the paper edges showing, that'll give you a good sense of uniformity um, without doing any work to try to cover up those ugly book covers. So this is a, a great tip. If you happen to find books that you like the structure of the book, but you don't look necessarily like the graphics that are on it, they don't go with your, with your color scheme. Uh, I'll take you all the way back to elementary school when you used to make book covers for your textbooks. Um, so what I'm working with here, because we're at the store, um, is just a piece of our wrapping paper. Um, it's just white. All you're gonna do first is make sure that you have enough wrapping paper to where you have a good margin. You'd rather have more uh, to work with than not enough. And the next thing you're gonna do is open your book up and then you're just gonna make a crease right there at the cover like that. Okay, so that tells you where you're gonna bend it and then you're just gonna bend it back. And then you can double check and see if you've got enough. You want just a little bit coming over the edge, but you don't want it to be too short. And that looks like it's pretty good there. So now I'm gonna leave myself a couple of inches and I'm gonna bend this over, All right? And then I'm gonna slide this book in. So it's almost like you've made a little jacket for your book. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with wrapping paper if you want. I've seen it done at Christmas if you want to get different plaids or different types of um, Christmas wrapping paper. That's a super easy way to transform your books at Christmas. Okay, so now over here you're going to see that you have a little bit, a little bit too much extra. So you're just going to grab some scissors and trim that off. repeat the process. Okay, so we have wrapped all of our books, our hard uh, hardback books in our white paper, and that just gives it a really clean look. So if, it, if the graphics on it didn't work for you before, uh, then now they should work with just about anybody's uh, color scheme or decorating style. Uh, what to do with your paperback books? I told y'all that these were a really good deal, right? I got these for 25 cents or 50 cents at the thrift store. Um, but obviously, like, I don't really care for the graphics. I don't really care. They, they obviously don't look quite as classy as these do. But there's a really cool thing you can do with your paperback books. 
um, and that is called giving it a naked book look. And all that means is you're going to actually take off the, the jacket or the cover. So you're gonna deconstruct your book. We'll start with the cover and all you're gonna do is just tear it. Um, and I, the only thing I try to be careful of is that I get a lot of the spine with it. I wanna be able to get that spine part, part off and that has quite a bit more glue, obviously. Um, so there the front cover is off and then the back cover is coming off. Again, I'm just ripping it up because I want to try to get as much of that off and you might have to just kind of scrape some of the um, graphics off if they're still there. But then once you've got the covers off, um, I'm just going to turn into the book and rip some pages out. It even gives it a cooler, like rougher edge there when you do that. And then turn to the back. And again, rip some pages off that way. And then you've got a naked spine and you've just got the inside of a book. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do it one more because you know we like to decorate an odd number. So I've got three paperbacks I'm gonna do that with. Um, and I also, when I went shopping for books at the thrift store, I also uh, took into consideration the size of the book um, and the thickness of the book. So you'll notice that I picked ones that were kind of similar in size so that they stacked uh, pretty well. And then I also chose some that there that were different thicknesses too. Um, so we're ripping those off. All right. So now I've got three naked books here. Um, and so what you're going to do is stack those together any way you like. Okay. Let's see. It looks like this one might need to go on the bottom. All right. Okay. So now you could absolutely, you know, stack it just like this. The one thing I didn't notice, <laughs> confession, I did not notice that the uh, paper edges of this uh, paperback actually formed words. So maybe be on the lookout for that and don't get that for yourself unless you like that sort of look. Um, I would have preferred something uh, like these other two where it's just plain. But uh, you could absolutely stack it like that if you wanted to. Um, the one thing I will say with these is it's really it's really cool because it, it has sort of a vintage sort of look, but a good way to take it up a notch from this sort of just very strong vintage feel is to put a really nice ribbon around it, right? To tie it together. Uh, so this is when you're not really gonna be using it as a riser, you're gonna be using it as just a, a space filler. Um, and so we've got a couple of different ribbons here. Um, this green and this black and white stripe. We, we had this at Christmas and I just love this ribbon because I think it's really classy and can go all year round. Um, we also have a really pretty kind of crushed green. Uh, it's kind of a crushed, crushed satin green. And I'm gonna use that actually for this book, this book series here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just get my ribbon out and the simplest way, easiest way to do this is to just do what we call a casual bow, right? So uh, you're used to seeing our bows at the store being pretty big and fluffy. What we're gonna do right here is make just a casual knot. So you're gonna bring it around your books and tie it together. And then you're just gonna make one pretty knot. Okay, so the key to this is just not to tie it super tight. That way you can still kind of mess with it, get the look that you want. Okay, and then we're gonna do our pretty cut. So you're gonna fold your ribbon like so, and then you're gonna cut that way. Make sure you got good scissors. And then you've got that really pretty sort of V shape at the end of your ribbon. Gonna do the same thing on this side. And you can make these short, you can make these long. It, like if you've got beautiful ribbon that you're trying to showcase, that this would be a great way to do that. Um, and add some color maybe, right, to your, to your, dec to your decorations. So that's uh, idea number one for your paperback books is to take the paperback off of them and just upcycle them, uh, give them a, a boost with some really pretty ribbon. Uh, the really pretty ribbon though can be used even on your hard, your really nice hard back books. Um, so for this one, I love like this deep green, reminds me of a library. So we're going to use this black and white ribbon here. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing. Now, if, you, if you're the person that just likes that big bow, you can certainly do that big bow here. Um, I just, pref sometimes I just think the simpler the better. And so I'm just gonna do that same knot. Another great idea too, especially with books that I've seen that I really like is uh, you can take a magnifying glass or something like that, poke it down in there. Um, and then you can just sit it on your side table and it's just a nice little statement piece. And then finally, if you wanna go super simple, uh, I'll show you easiest way to do that is with some twine. And so we can do that with our books here. And for this one, I'm working with a really skinny piece of ribbon or really skinny twine. So I'm gonna double it up, meaning I'm gonna wrap it twice around like we do our gift packages at the store. And so this could work as kind of a little farmhouse chic sort of look, you know, if you wanted to do that. And you can leave it just as a knot if you like. Uh, you could make a little bow if you prefer that. Here we've got a lot of really pretty picks in the store. You could break off a little pick um, and stick it down in the twine there and that would give it a little pop of color. But you can see that we have three really different looks uh, just using old books here um, to decorate with. So books can be used to stack, books can be used to fill space, but they can also just be statement pieces by themselves. And chances are that is uh, the least expensive statement piece that you'll probably uh, buy and purchase for your home.